Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at a product called the Snap Grip. This is a product that attaches to a phone and supposedly makes it work more like a regular camera. But does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. All right, so you may have seen ads for the Snap Grip. They also have the Pro Grip, which has been around longer. The Snap Grip is a bit more scaled down. It's the newer version. It takes some of the features of Pro Grip, but it actually condenses it down to a cheaper model. But before I get to some tests out here, let's flash back to my unboxing overview and then get started. Let's take a look at the Snap Grip by Shift Cam. I paid 70 bucks for this. The claims are that it can have the essentials from a DSLR, has a wireless shutter, magnetic quick release, Ergonomic grip, wireless charging, built-in battery pack of 3200 milliamp hours. They say it adds a compact grip to a phone that makes it feel like a traditional camera. Magnetically snaps to MagSafe phones or the included magnetic sticker. Can be rotated for portrait or landscape use. Built-in power bank and can be used as a phone stand. Compatible with all the Snap Grip ecosystem products. I've got a quick start guide here. I'll look that over. Let's take a quick look here. USB-C charging cable. Now people on Amazon who like this, they say that it stays firmly in place. Some people said they like the smaller size and the older and more expensive Pro Grip model. And the people who don't like it, some people said that the magnet is not strong enough, while others said it's just unnecessary in general. I'm gonna read these over before I do anything and then get started. All right, so I charged it up, read over the instructions, and I've got a few more observations of the Snap Grip. Now there's really four main functions. It works as a shutter, a grip, a phone stand, and a 3200 milliamp hour charger. It connects via Bluetooth, very simple. Uh, it's not compatible with PopSocket, by the way. This is also mainly for MagSafe phones, but if you have a non-MagSafe phone, they do have a sticker you can add on to, to that and, and attach it that way. Apparently, if you contact them, you can get another sticker if you have to change phones, although I don't believe there's a listing for the sticker on their website. Hopefully that's the case. It also works as a stand. It seems to work pretty well as a stand for this phone, but it, it doesn't really look real stable. I don't know if the stand is really like the best feature. They do have other accessories like a tripod, a light, a hot shoe that you can stack on top of each other. It's kind of cool the way it works. All those are, I think the other ones are 40 bucks for those accessories. This was 70, the Pro Grip I think is 140 or 150. By the way, I paid full price for this. This is not a freebie, this is not a sponsor post. I don't do that. You might see some other reviews out there that are freebies or sponsor posts, not this one. So let's take a closer look and see how this works. All right, taking a closer look at the unit itself, there are some indicator lights here. The bottom four are the percentage of the charge that's left. One second from top shows if it's, if it's actually charging the phone or not, and the top one is Bluetooth connection. Now I'll try it with and without this MagSafe case here, but here's how it connects. It just snaps into place. That's why they call it snap grip. And then it does provide a shutter, so you can kind of operate it more like a camera. And you can also twist it into vertical mode and you can use it like this as well. Here's how it works when you connect with your phone. I'm snapping it on the back and immediately you can see that it is charging. So that's pretty good. Now if you hit the button while it's locked, it doesn't really do anything. So you really actually have to have the camera open before you can start using it. So I'm gonna press this shutter like this and photo taken. Now if you wanna do video, you don't have to change anything. You can actually just hold the button down. I'm holding it for I think it's a couple seconds before it actually starts recording. One, two, three. So approximately three seconds, it switched the video and now I'm holding it down. As soon as I let go, it stops recording video. So a lot of people, they record like this, which this isn't really too much of a problem for me to record photos and video with one hand. But when you switch to vertical mode, that's when it gets more difficult. Your, your hand is kind of an uncomfortable position and it feels a little bit top heavy. So I've never been a fan of filming vertically in either configuration. You can do like this with video, and this is even more difficult because there's no real good way to do it when you're in, in landscape. Filming in vertical mode is much better with the Snap Grip, I will say that. It's much more convenient. By the way, if you have video selected, one press will start the video and stop it. If you're in photo mode, you can just hold it down for video. So it depends on what mode you're in, how it functions. Now you can use something like Snapchat. I guess, believe it or not, I'm actually still on Snapchat. I'm, I'm the one guy left there, but you can uh, use it within uh, other apps. So I'm gonna press the button once, take a photo. And if I hold it down, there's a bit of a delay. One, two, but it is recording now. The magnet's pretty sturdy. I mean, I'm shaking it pretty good here and this is, a, this is my phone, so I'm taking a chance with it, but I feel, it feels pretty solid. I don't feel like it's gonna fall off. Now let me take the case off and try it that way. Without the case on, let's see what we got here. It still feels pretty solid. I don't feel like it's, it's in any danger of falling off. I'm a little nervous doing this, but I'm relatively comfortable with it. 
it's not even really sliding. So it feels pretty solid. I don't think that you're going to have normal use. I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to fall off very easily. So uh, let's head outside and put this through a, a real world test. Well, I will say that I do prefer the way this feels holding it in vertical mode. So it's definitely more comfortable in that respect. I think the idea behind the grip and the shutter is to add more comfort to your phone. So it allows you to hold it more comfortably, which supposedly adds to more stability. I did some stability tests down at the park earlier and here's how that went. All right, let's, let's do some test shots and see what we got here. First up, I'm going to do the control test without the snap grip in my hand and just walk around and film it in a couple different configurations. First test, no snap grip, just walking on, with the phone myself. Here we go. I'm just holding it, trying to go as steady as I can. Walk to here and I'm going to pan slowly, just holding it. Now I'm going to walk back. Now the same thing with the snap grip. Just walking, trying to walk as smoothly as I can. Walk up to here and pan around. All right, let's try the same thing in a vertical mode and see how that goes. First up, no snap grip. Here we go. Try to go as smoothly as I can. Hold it for a second, slowly pan. Now the iPhone does have stabilization, but that doesn't always work perfectly. I'll do the same thing with a snap grip now. Here we go. Walk in as smoothly as I can. Hold for a second and then pan. Here's a front facing camera using the snap grip. How does that look? Is it smooth? Is it smoother? Or is it smoother when I hold the phone just in my hand? Which one is better? This is the way I find it is most difficult to hold it when I was doing landscape and you're going upward because it does get kind of top heavy. It does feel kind of heavy. So let's try the snap grip. Now going up this way, it is much easier. It doesn't feel top heavy at all. So I would say of all the ways I tried it out, when I hold it up facing the sky, it's much easier with the snap grip. Some of them seem like it's a little bit easier. I'm not sure if it's significantly easier. I would say it feels a little bit more stable when you're holding it, although this phone has stabilization, so I'm gonna have to go back and see if it looks more stable or not. It felt more stable, but does it look stable? That's the question. All right, so maybe it didn't lead to a huge benefit in stabilization, although most phones nowadays have stabilization anyways, but it is more comfortable, especially in vertical mode, so I'm not bashing it too much. The target audience for the snap grip is, it seems to be content creators who use their phones to create a lot of video. And for those people, I would say, in some cases they might find this to be useful although it's one more thing to carry around and it is 70 bucks and I don't really think the stand feature is very useful but the extra battery life is pretty nice though so I don't know I'm a bit on the fence about this one I'm not sure if the comfort that it provides is worth 70 extra dollars but I know there are some people out there that will like this product so I think the reviews in this one are going to be kind of mixed over time I think that there's going to be some people out there that really like the idea of having a more comfortable grip with the shutter and others out there that don't really see the point but if you've used the Snap Grip or the Pro Grip, let us know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.